dragonflies are amazing creatures. I mean, who doesn't love to watch their aerodynamics and aerobatics as they dart and fly up and down and hover around us and around ponds and streams? Now, a couple things about dragonflies that really are astounding. Um, first of all, it, like all insects, dragonflies have six legs, but they do not have the ability to walk. They can't walk with those legs. When they land, you'll never see a dragonfly kind of walking along the leaf. They have to take back off again. They use their legs to catch insects in the air instead of using them to walk with. Very different than any other insects. Now, that's not the only thing that's totally unique about a dragonfly. Dragonflies have two sets of wings. They have four independent wings. Unlike beetles and lots of other flying insects, who, which only have two wings, and those wings on the dragonfly, they act independent of each other. The front two wings may be flapping down while the back two wings are flapping up. And this is what gives those dragonflies this amazing ability to hover in the air and then dart backwards, either fast or slow, dart at an angle right or left or move forwards in, in all sorts of uh, aerodynamic flips and abilities. Now, for years, scientists assume because they have four wings, there's lots of extra energy that they have to use in order to fly in this way. But as they started to study them closer, they realized those front two wings cause air to move in such a way that it reduces the drag of the back wings flapping through the air. And they're actually 22% more efficient, more less energy usage for this insect to use those four wings than a normal insect with the same size wings using only two wings. What an amazing design. But it doesn't stop there. You see, unlike any other known insect, the design of that class of an insect that the dragonfly falls into, those wings are connected to muscles which aren't connected to the outside shell of the insect, the exoskeleton. Other insects, beetles and such, they fly because the muscles move those plates that then cause the wings to flap. Now, this is enormous amounts of information that have been added to this particular insect that is found nowhere else in the insect world. It would be like in a library of information needed to create an insect, there's a completely unique book filled with information that could be found only in the dragonfly suddenly appearing in that library. There is absolutely no evidence that some slow, gradual process changed the wing and muscle structure of all the other insects slowly into a dragonfly type structure. It's just suddenly there. You see, God does these things so we will know these animals have been created. They haven't slowly modified or changed from one type of insect into another. And that's exactly what God's told us. He said 10 times in the very first book of the Bible that creatures reproduce after their own kind. Birds make birds, trees make trees, fish make fish, dragonflies make dragonflies, and some other insect has not turned into a dragonfly. God is the one who did it.